Hey, what's up everybody, AWOL here, and welcome to my studio. In this video, I'm gonna talk about my favorite shotgun mic. It's the Rode NTG2 Super Cardioid Condenser Mic. You're looking at it right here. It's powered either by battery power or by phantom power. I'm using the Rodecaster Pro mixer right now, and the audio you're listening to is this mic shotgun style about a foot away from my face with the pop filter that comes with it on, and it sounds freaking fat, right? Shotgun mics don't usually sound this broadcasty, this full with that big bottom and those big mids. And that's what I love about this mic is it's got that broadcast quality audio at an affordable price you can actually buy for your home studio. They actually sell this mic, Rode does, as like a film and movie mic, so you can put it on a boom. You know, I've got it on a boom stand right here in my home studio, and it's really great for boom applications as well. So in this video, I'm gonna obviously show you the shotgun style audio you're going to get. You can mount this mic obviously to the top of your camera. You're not gonna put it right in front of your face like this, right? And I'm also gonna show you boom style the way it sounds. And I'm gonna turn the processing on and off, the live processing that's happening in my Rodecaster Pro mixer, and you decide. If you're looking to make videos in the future without having the mic in the shot, shotgun mics are the way to go. Okay, so this is the way it sounds shotgun style with the mixer processing on. There's no post-processing, by the way, in editing. No compressors, no EQ, no mastering. I'm just recording this raw in OBS and just uploading to YouTube, okay? No post. Let me put it above my head, boom style, and you can check out what this mic sounds like completely out of the shot. Cool? Let me mute and put it right above my head. Fast little transition there. It's now out of the shot. It's about a foot above my head, but you could put it out of your shot too and just present to the audience like I'm doing right now, and it sounds this good. It sounds this fat. Pretty awesome, right? Now this is a super cardioid mic, which means it has a wide pickup pattern. So think of it as a shotgun blasting out of the top of the mic, and it's gonna pick up everything in that wide, wide pattern. So the big advantage of that is I can talk left, right, down, up, whatever it may be, and it'll pick up my audio in a nice even way, boom style or shotgun style, which is great. You don't have to have it right in front of your mouth. The disadvantage of that is it's gonna pick up a lot of audio in the room, you fiddling with your desk, maybe you rubbing your fingers together, creaking your chair, it'll pick up some of that because it's got such a wide pickup pattern and such a large frequency response. That's part of the disadvantage of having such a sensitive and wide pickup pattern shotgun mic. That's how you get the fat sound, but it comes with the drawback. So I recommend being in a space that has maybe some acoustic treatment or a room that doesn't have mega echo. This mic is not going to thrive in those environments. Now, let me just leave it up there boom style, which is probably the most likely scenario for you to use this mic. By the way, links in the description below to the mic, the boom, and the mixer I'm using. Let me just show you the mixer. I'm gonna turn the effects on and off on the mixer so you can hear what those sound like. This is the Rodecaster Pro mixer I'm running it through. Disclosure, Rode gave me this mixer for free nine months ago, so I need to disclose that to you. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the effects on this particular mic. I'm just gonna turn all the effects off, okay? This is the way it sounds with no effects on. So you probably hear a little bit of fan noise. I've got two computers, a ceiling fan, and the air conditioning on right now. And you may hear some of that in the background. The noise gate helps eliminate some of that on the post-processing on this mixer. As you can hear though, it's a nice even sound. So if you're an audiophile that likes to mix hardcore and post, this even audio is something you can really juice up and post. But you don't really need to. When you turn the processing on, it just sounds freaking sick out the box, as you can hear. The mic is above my head right now. It's not right in front of my mic, right in front of my mouth but it still gives you that broadcaster style sound, which I love about it. Let me turn the processing off one more time. This is the way it sounds in my room without any processing. This is just me talking openly, left, right, everywhere in between, a little bit of background noise, a little bit of lightness on the bottom and the mids, and then you turn on that Rodecaster Pro mixer and it just sounds freaking sick. There you go. That's it. That's all I need to say. That's all I need to do. If you heard this and it sounds great to you, links in the description below. Same price as for anybody else, but if you buy them using the links I put below, 
I get a small kickback so I can buy more equipment <laughs> and do more videos on my channel with that equipment. That's what I use with the money I get from Amazon Associates. So thank you to everybody who watches my gear videos and actually buys using the links below. Same price to you, I just get a small percentage back and I get to buy more cool stuff and that makes me happy. If you bought this mic and it made you happy, let me know in the comments below. If you bought this mic and you thought it was hot garbage, let me know in the comments below. But I bet there's not gonna be any of you letting me know that in the comments below. I even bought this mic for my boss. He does professional video and webinars that are just big time with thousands and thousands of concurrents. He uses this mic. Sounds freaking great every time. That's why I'm recommending it. Adios amigos, let me know if shotgun mics are your solution and I'll see you in the next one.